episode of Back to the Basics Makeup 101. This is my Back to the Basics makeup series. I am just covering all the basics about makeup and filling you with information that you would need about our products and how you would use them and what kind of products you would need in your everyday makeup routine. So in the last video, I spoke about our Glorious Face Eye Primer and our eye primer. You learned how to use the product, why it's important, and how much product you should use. Today I'm going to talk about our foundations and why it is important to wear a foundation. So even in your most basic makeup routine, I highly suggest wearing a foundation. Just as the primer protects your face, the foundation is going to protect your face and create a barrier for everyday outside particles that are floating in the air, anything that your skin can come in contact with. So washing and moisturizing your face is going to create a clean surface and then the moisturizer is going to create a skin protectant as well as a glorious face eye primer. The foundation is really going to seal off your skin from those pollutants. With our products, you have four different foundations that you can really use um, in any day routine. So we have our liquid touch foundation. This is my favorite go-to foundation. Um, it's very lightweight, it's about a medium coverage, and it's buildable. We also have our BB Flawless Cream. This is a light coverage, but it's more of a heavier foundation um, in terms of how it feels. It's very, very moisturizing, so if you have dry skin, BB Cream will be really good for you, especially in the summer. Um, swimming a lot, my skin tends to dry out, but I don't need a heavy coverage, so I tend to turn to BB cream because it gives me a light coverage in color, and then it um, moisturizes my skin as well. We also have a cream foundation, and this is much like our mineral touch foundation. Um, it comes in a compact form, and it is cream. So it's gonna go on, it's very moisturizing for the skin. This is very good for irritated skin or um, dry skin as well. And then we have our pressed powder. And this is another one of my favorites. This is a very, um, this is a medium to full coverage as well as the cream and the liquid foundation. Um, and this is really good if you have oily skin or combination skin. Um, this will create more of a mattifying look to your skin. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using our Liquid Mineral Touch Foundation um, just because this is one of our newest products and it's one of my favorite products. So what you want to do is, if you didn't see what I just did, I opened my bottle and I squeezed out whatever was in my dropper. When you have a liquid foundation bottle, it is very important that you shake the bottle beforehand, but you also want to squeeze out what's in your dropper um, to make sure that whatever's in there gets mixed up as well. So I squeeze out what's in my dropper and then you want to shake it. You want to give your bottle a good 15 to 30 seconds to mix up because this product tends to settle and separate. So I'm also going to be using our liquid foundation brush to apply our liquid foundation. If you were going to apply the BB cream or even our cream foundation, I would suggest using a beauty blender for these two. And with our pressed powder, our powder puff brush is a great combination or even the sponge that comes with this. But um, our powder puff brush is a great way to use the pressed powder. So I've already shake, shaken up my bottle, and I'm just getting some into the dropper here. And I actually like to apply this directly to my face. Excuse me. I like to apply this directly to my face rather, rather than apply it to the brush. So I'm going to put some on my forehead, put some on my cheeks, on my chin. just going to buff it in really with a very light hand with our foundation brush. For those of you 
wondering, this is Scarlet. This is the lightest shade that we have. I like to use Scarlet because it helps neutralize my skin tone because I tend to have really red skin. Um, but Organza would work perfectly fine for me as well. Scarlet gives me a more fair skin tone, where Organza gives me a little bit more color. It's uh, Organza's a better match, but I like having a more neutralizing color, which is why I use Scarlet. Because this is a fairly good match, um, I don't need to like really blend it into my neck, but I do want to bring it a little bit down so that I make sure it's matching well. So there you go. That's all you need to do for a liquid foundation. As you can see, it helps neutralize that redness in that blemish that I had. And then it also helps create a nice, even skin tone for my face. Now, another great tip is after I go through and I apply the rest of my facial makeup, to go through with a light layer of pressed powder to really set the rest of my makeup. But you wanna use a very, very light hand. It's a very light layer that you're going to apply. Um, that way your makeup doesn't look cakey or anything, but it's going to help set the rest of your makeup. I hope you guys found this video tutorial helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to help you with that. Also, if you have any questions about where to find these products or how to use them later on, feel free to message me or leave a comment below and I will message you back and answer those questions for you. So thanks everybody for watching and I hope you guys all have a great day.